Hello everybody, welcome back. George Burns here to show you how I made this card. Um, to make this card I used the stamps, well, yeah, stamp set, Sweetest Time. And I'm using the candles and one of the flames. That's it. The Merry Christmas came off the stamp set, Star of Light. And all these trimmings I've cut out using the dies, using the large holly with the impression in, and the plain one, and the ferns. For the berries I use this one. Now this does not belong in this set, it belongs in... Oh my god, I forgot what it belongs in. Positive something. Can't remember. It's a Stampin' Up die. I, I left it in here so I know to tell you about it. And that is for the berry bits. And the my imitation of mistletoe is from the twig one. I'll show you how I've done it because I haven't got any mistletoe. So I have got plenty of holly leaves, ferns, berries, one left to be coloured in here. I've also got a little bit of ribbon with the gold and very vanilla on it. Very crinkled ribbon but it will tie straighten out. It's still tieable. So yeah, we've got all them bits there, which we'll use. Uh, the candles I heat and boss, which we will do. So the cardstock I've got a very thick, a thick piece of very vanilla at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I don't know why that's in there. It needs very vanilla. A thin piece of no. A piece of gold foil card at five and five eighths at three and seven eighths, and a thin piece of very vanilla at five and a half by three and three quarters, and some scrap for the candles. Um, yeah, that's all I need. You do need a piece of very vanilla for the inside, which I didn't bring and I didn't cut on this. No, this one hasn't had one in yet, so I need to do them. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Let's um, do our candles first. So we're going to heat emboss them in gold. I've got my gold embossing powder. My heat em my embossing buddy. Clean it up. Well, it matters because we're going to cut them out. My candles, my Versa mark, oh that's not sticky mark, a dirty mark on my ink. I thought it was a foreign bit but it's not marked. And we're going to just stamp that down like that. Right, put a lid on that. Very now, oh, gold embossing powder. This is gold, it's got a bit of glitter in it. nice. Right, now for the noisy bit. Let's heat this up for a minute or two while it heats up.
Uh, we're going to heat up underneath first. I do like heating up underneath first. Just gets the embossing powder to stick and not get blown away when you introduce the heat gun. Right, there we are. Our nice shiny candles. Try and get that at the other end of the table. Right, so that's one side to cool. Right, we're going to prepare the this one. And what we want to do is sponge or brush just around the edges of the card and I've got a brush and my crumb cake and I'm just going around the edges of my card going right in I'm just going round yeah that's all I want to do now quite happy with that but I'm just going to go in the corners now and just darken them up the corners See that? That's all I want to do with that. Clean my brush off. See, stamping up, we're going to sell these brushes in um, spring summer catalogue coming out on January. I can't remember what date. Put that away for now. Right, we're going to stick this down before I do anything else. Oh, I might. I'm going to stick this down and then stamp Merry Christmas. I forgot to put that on. So, a bit of crumb cake. Christmas at the top here and stump it down. Nice. If I'd made a mistake, I would have just stamped it on a piece of very vanilla and just stuck it over the top. That's what I would have done. I was lucky that time. Right, put that on the card base. Right, the rest we've got to do with it on the card base because. You can't very well glue it down with all the uh, bits on the top of it. So, got our candles. We are now going to cut them out. Separately. Want. 
two. Put that a bit closer. Three. Get rid of them scraps. Right, these need to go on dimensionals. Right, the biggest one out of three needs to have them just running up the middle. In fact, all three of them have them running up the middle because they're going to go on there. And they're going to be tucked under the large one. So they're going to be, and the large one is going to be tucked under like that. Right, but we've got to put our flames on, so I am going to set these down now, just so I know where the flames have got to be. push that under and I've just put it down a little bit lower than the big one and do the same this side Not very straight that one that's better and then with our flame and daffodil delight, we are going to very carefully just ink up the block, making sure I don't get yellow on the block. Uh, ink up the stamp and not get yellow on the block. I am going to place my flame just a little bit higher like that now with a tiny brush I've got and so saffron need my paper again I am going to load up my brush and just go around in a little circle just to highlight the flame make it glow That makes my flames glow a bit because I used a lighter ink than the actual flame. Okay. Right now, to put the hollies and... Oh, I've got to do some mistletoe first. Right, to put all this on, what I've done is I've cut out a piece of card this is a uh, mossy meadow and I'm going to be sticking the holly and everything to this card because it's easier just to place the card over the candles than try and glue holly to the candle and the bits so 
we want two sprigs of these twigs or sprigs or whatever they're called and then all I've done all I did was colour them in sort of right with always artichoke all I done was go down the stem they will be cut off cut in half I think I used old olive on the last one. Never mind. And then this one, oh, one way around. These are the berries that represent berries. Just coloured the branch in in red in green and then the berries I've used dark cherry cobbler. There we have it. That's how I've done my little add-ons to my holly. Right, let's move that. Move this. Bring in this. Right, now what I did, I got my holly and I glued... I don't know if there's a wrong way or a wrong way, right way on these plain ones. And I have staggered them as I glued them down. No, that's right. Put the... I wanted these to go up the way because they're the end ones. Then I got hold of cut these up a piece of fern, a berry and a piece of mistletoe and I just put them together so we'll glue them all together put the fern in the middle and add some more glue put the berries on top and then I just Glued them there. Made another set up. Doing this back to front, this one, never mind. Yeah. Put that there. There, that way, 
and then glued this on here. And then we got another holly leaf. Glued that on. And we did that until it was all covered. and made up another little fern but I'm going to put the berries on the other side this time and stick them on top some glue on the bottom of that and put that on there and that is our little holly thing wreath that will go around there and once that's on then we'll stick in some more fern around the outside so we need to Put some dimensionals, mini dimensionals, on these two bits of holly. I know that for a start. On the wrong bits, this bit, and So, take the backs off. And they could do with one. So, I am. Going to pop one under there. There we go. So we get off. We get off. Uh, that's good English, isn't it? And we're going to stick some fern under here, just so it's all sticking out. And some under the bottom here.
think that's the end of the ferns. No, that's too big, so I'm going to put that on top. Right. Next, we need to put our ribbon on. So I'm going to tie a small bow. which we're going to stick right in the middle and that hides all the sticking down we're done Right, that is, take the rubbish off it, our card, did I put any gems on this one, no, there's a lot of faffing about with this, you know, cutting all these um, holly leaves out and what not, but it's worth it in the end I think. that one higher up than that one. Doesn't matter. Right, all I'm going to say is if you like what you see please uh, give us a like button. If you'd like to see more of your, my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be able to see uh, more cards I upload on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, but I had me thinking then. All, right, all I'm going to say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.